Uh, I feel like I might be considered like the, the band kid. I think that people stereotype me as um, maybe a little bit of um, a nerd in glasses. People stereotype me as like a theater person. I think people stereotype me as a guy who really only cares about like sports and maybe like girls. I'd probably say I'm stereotyped as a crazy raging feminist. I think a lot of people stereotype me as a dumb jock. Stereotypical like shy Asian girl. I don't know, kind of as a geek. I guess. They don't expect me to be as social, I'd say. I guess maybe a girl like the butterfly that doesn't necessarily fit into one stereotype or another. And people think that I'm really uh, studious and uh, just kind of smart, maybe uh, a little nerdy. I'd say I'm probably a theater kid uh, to most people. Um, I think that people stereotype me as the funny black girl. Pretty much, I guess, they think I'm a party. If I had to stereotype myself, um, I call myself a big foot. I think people stereotype me because I'm Asian. I guess people will stereotype me as like a typical funny Indian guy. I really think I am, you know, this smart person, like especially this techie person. I think that I'm generally stereotyped as a more quiet, reserved person. Um, well, I'm in feminist club, so I guess they probably think I'm like a crazy feminist. Uh, I think I'm more stereotyped as a nerd. Um, we're both stereotyped as performing artists. I think people stereotype me through um, my participation in the IB program here at Sunset. Uh, people stereotype me to be like a really quiet person. I, I think people stereotype me as like a theater kid. I think people stereotype me as some sort of like foreign European guy just because of my last name. Stereotyped as an Ivy student, so people think I'm really smart or that I work really hard. You know, I guess I'm stereotyped as kind of a nerd. Oh, you think of me as like a black athlete who just plays sports. The truth is, I've always tried to challenge myself in school. I have some pretty high ambitions. In reality, I guess, I'm like fairly shy. So actually, band is probably one of the lower priorities. I've lived in America my whole life, and like my family has lived in America their whole lives. I swing dance every week downtown at Stumptown Swing, and I really love it because it's a good way to meet new people. I recently got in a fight. It's a pretty big event, and people seem to label me as a reckless kid. Fighter, but I'm not that. I'm actually a very caring person. If you view me as like the first impression of like being really shy and like really quiet and like you know you can kind of not think that I would be able to speak out about myself but through dance I can like definitely do that because it's like very expressive and I can kind of um, through my movement it's like not shy at all. Uh, most people wouldn't guess that I actually play piano. I am a nationally ranked Pokemon player. One thing people don't know about me is I like to watch nature documentaries. I dress really well, and people call me gay for that. That's pretty interesting, but I'm, but I'm really not. People just think of the one extracurricular you do, and they, they use that as kind of to define you by, you know, the first impression. I think that people would be surprised to know that while I'm really not athletic, um, I do like, I don't know, sometimes they're just described as like extreme sports. Um, like I really like to go wakeboarding and things like that. Well, I do theater and I take a few IB classes and I am in choir and I play the piano. Uh, as a skateboarder, I think people stereotype me as maybe a bad person, but I'm a really nice guy. I guess I might be stereotyped as kind of like the cool ice queen or whatever. I do, you know, act that way, but I think it's more because I'm shy, not because I want to not because I don't want to talk to people. I do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I take a lot of IB classes and I'm not that dumb of a kid. I move a lot. Um, I've moved to nine different states since I was in third grade. I played, I played varsity lacrosse and uh, I do drag boating now. And you know, a lot of times nerds are kind of considered anti-social people, but I know a lot of people. It's really hard for me to be deep with people because I think a lot of people expect me to be very funny and very uh, open, so it's a, very hard for me to like go deeper with people. So. I mean, I, I'm a skier, avid skier, scuba diver, you know, um, go hunting and fishing quite a bit too. I speak four languages, um, English, Lebanese, Arabic, French, and Spanish. My brother, he has a learning disability, so it's kind of made me like just view life in a different perspective. We both want to be doctors when we grow up. I play a lot of sports. I run track for varsity, I play soccer, I've played football, baseball. I am good at technology, I would say, just a bit, but 
I'm more interested in the science aspect. Pretty stereotyped as the goody shoes white girl who always does her homework and um, never strays from the path, but I'm actually super into art. art. I never do homework. I look at myself as an empathetic, compassionate person. What surprised me about me is my participation in arts programs, and I actually really enjoy ceramics, and I enjoy slam poetry a lot. Because I don't have tiny squinty eyes, they're not actually that small. Please! And I do not speak like ching chong, ling long, ting tong. Well, I'm like actually a really sassy person. Most people think that a lot of theater kids go into theater or go into some sort of fine arts after high school, but um, I'm kind of taking a different path.